There was a boy at that first orphanage where we volunteered. He was 12 years old and he told me he wanted to be a journalist. If this is what he wanted to do, he was going to be a great journalist. And then we came back for a second trip six months later and I spoke to him. And in those six months, his hope had died. He wasn't going to be a journalist. For me, this was this seminal moment where it was just, we have to do this better. We have to make sure these children do not lose hope at 12 and a half years old. A lot of these kids have been forced to help raise their siblings or to help take care of themselves far before we would expect the average child to. So it's incredibly important to us to partner with local and international organizations that can work with the kids. Good Makers film team, and they are coming over to join us for about a month in Kenya it's to do dance, drama, break dancing, everything. You could ask well, why come into a nice, stable environment and bring all this energy and disrupt their routine. For us, it's just simply the vastness of the need for care. There are almost no words to describe it. It's just. Hold on, sorry. We're here! Never thought that I would do something like this. I hope we can do it. There are moments where I'm like, okay, are we gonna pull this off? I think it's gonna be a little difficult. Being a white girl in that situation and trying to take command, I actually found that there was a challenge which I didn't anticipate. We should just start warming up here, I think. But then we turned on music and everything changed. Children that had no idea how talented they were suddenly became these superstars. You know, dancers that didn't know they were dancers, singers that didn't know they were singers, suddenly they had their chance to shine. And then there's one girl in particular whose name is Lavender. Hello, Kenyans. She's one of the smartest 14-year-olds that I know. She could rival any 14-year-old I've, I've met anywhere else in the world. I feel absolutely astonished and beyond inspired. Thank you. Thank you. Great. I want to be a lawyer and a journalist. Also, I want to change the surrounding that I live in to become a very strong society because we don't know tomorrow. No matter where you go, kids are going to have aspirations, going to have the same dreams, they're going to want the same future for themselves. It's quite simple, it's an opportunity for these children to showcase who they are and what they can do. You know, we're here just making it happen. <laughs> There are no words to describe the amazing personalities and the phenomenal children that live in these homes. It was electric. It was alive. A long time ago I used to say, I cannot make it. But now since you can, I can really make it. I can really stand strong. Ha, ha, ha.